So you're just extracting the heat from the ground. It's, it's just sitting there and it's recharged. It's almost infinite. We'll prove that through this. We expect that we are going to reduce the energy costs and CO2 emission. From September till April, we can fully control environment in this glass house. There's 18 boreholes, 200 meters deep. The only way you can tell that they're in there is a single manhole cover. In terms of solar power, uh, that's probably half an acre, the solar panels. I just feel new energy for growing strawberries in this environment. As the food industry becomes more globalised, it's actually increasing pressure on local food producers because they're actually competing with every farmer in the world. 30% of all carbon emissions across the world are related to the food system. So we can import food from America, South America, Australia, and New Zealand. Well, that is fine. But really what I personally think we should be doing is growing it here. If we grow it here, we get the economic gain from producing it here. And money goes back in society, it creates a vibrant community, and we all thrive from that. Ten years ago, we were producing something like 60% of all tomatoes in the UK. That's now dropped to 17%. That's the impact of competition. We're now importing lots of fruit from Morocco, Spain, where there's water constraints, all sorts of environmental problems. So we're importing their environmental footprint into the UK. Uh, we want to get that production base up. We've got the skills, we've got the people, we've got the resources, we've got the know-how to expand that production. So 17% UK tomatoes this year, that could go back to 60%. So we have teamed up with uh, NFU Energy and Pilkington Glass on this particular project, and we are looking into two uh, technologies to integrate them into food production. One is um, geothermal technology energy system. Lincolnshire has a great potential for geothermal and we are utilizing this potential to reduce the energy cost, CO2 emission and produce food sustainably. The other project is with Pilkington glass and we are integrating a novel generation of glass cladding material for glass houses which can reflect near infrared and passively reduce the temperature inside the glass house. Geothermal, we think, is a way forward. So we're just extracting the heat from the ground. It's, it's just sitting there and it's recharged. It's almost infinite. We'll prove that through this uh, system. And so it's going to reduce the energy cost by at least a third and the environmental impact by at least a third. How geothermal works? We've got 18 geothermal boreholes here. It works pretty similar as a refrigerator. We extract the heat from the ground and we, we deliver the heat to the, to the growing compartments. We use the ground source heat pump, extract that heat from the, from the ground and convert it into the uh, higher temperature source. We also have an air source heat pump, which is like a top up or can replace ground source heat pump in case of the, for example, breakage or any fault we have on the ground source heat pump. Apart from heating technology, we have vents, we have screens, which helps us control the climate in the glass house. The devices work with conjunction of our set point, but also with the weather station data and, and the sensors uh, which are located here in the glass house. It's quite automatic system. We can apply, let's say, control of the vents based on the outside temperature, inside temperature, light level. We can have influences of wind speed we have various set points. It all depends how we want to make the system efficient for various crops. So from September till April, we can fully control environment in this glass house and we can have pretty consistent quality. I think the great thing is about the visual impact here. So we've been in the vineyard, there's, there's 18 boreholes in that vineyard, 200 meters deep. The only way you can tell that they're in there is a single manhole cover where all of the uh, piping for the boreholes comes together. One manhole cover, and that's enough to power this 110 kilowatt heat pump. If you think of that in terms of solar power, that's probably half an acre, the solar panels that you need to put on, which are visually intrusive. And actually you can't then grow anything on those soils where the solar panels are. Here, we've got the energy coming out 
and we've got a crop on top of it, a vineyard. So I think that's a great, great solution in terms of renewable energy supply to help our supply chain and help our food supply chain. These strawberries were planted 20th of August, so about two and a half months ago. Uh, and after two and a half months from planting, we already picked around uh, 200 grams per plant. And in total, in glass house, we have uh, 2,100 of, stra of strawberry plants. After two and a half months, the crop from, from the very tiny plant with only two tiny leaves, We've got this what I think, in my opinion, looks amazing. I grow the strawberries for, well, good half of my life. This is like something very, very unique. And I just feel new energy for growing strawberries in this environment. Because as you can expect, growing strawberries, like doing any job, it might become boring with the time. But again, this is like a fresh experience uh, and yeah, very, very exciting, very exciting.